guys, I have a Bulk Barn haul for you today. Bulk Barn is a Canadian store that, surprise, surprise, sells everything in bulk. We spent, well, it's a $12 haul, $12.01. However, because we had a $3 off coupon, um, it was only $9.01. And the coupon is in the weekly flyer. You can also print it off online if you don't get the flyer, which is what we did. And yeah, so $12 down to $9. And we got some interesting items. So I will show you what I'm most excited about. Um, and there's already a lot less than what we purchased it. These are Christmas mini eggs. So the Hershey's eggies that come out around Easter, now you can get them at other times of the year too, which I did know about, but I don't know. I couldn't justify buying like a little a package of it for like a dollar or something. So here I got a whole bunch of them. Ah, yay. Um, four, I don't remember. A dollar ninety-eight, but there was probably about three times the amount of this. I just ate a lot of it already. <laughs> As I just dropped three. But luckily, the schnauzers know the word no. So they just wait. And then I eat them. So the next one that I'm excited about, that Daniel is not excited about, is... This is green lentil flour. So we've tried the red lentil flour and the black bean flour. Um, none of which he likes when I make pasta with them. However, it makes me feel better like I'm eating a little bit more healthy. I, it's hard to find the balance because the like, um, it's a different amounts of like gluten and everything else and you need different amount of water with it. So sometimes the, when I do the homemade pasta, it ends up a little too gummy or then just too powdery and so it's a learning curve, but anyways, I'm really excited. So I just get a little bit, but this will make probably about two pasta um, dishes or two pasta batches, which makes a lot. So, yay. so that, for that little amount, it was $1.39. And the next one we got was these pretzels. Usually I get the honey mustard pretzels, but I decided to try the sour cream habanero pretzel. I don't like, well, no, I don't mind them. They're they are, they're definitely habanero. They're very um, hot and spicy. Um, they're all right, but I do love that kind of sweetness of the honey mustard ones. They're okay. And the thing with bulk farm, you don't know how long things have been sitting there. So these ones do taste a little stale, but I guess it's not very popular. And then I also got some couscous. So this is just plain couscous. Um, when we went to Paris, we, because we had our own kitchen there, um, we stayed in an Airbnb, and we kept, we bought a lot of couscous and we had it, and we're like, we should be, be buying couscous at home, because it's really good, super easy, and then I went through a phase and I did, and then I forgot, or I just haven't been. So anyways, got some more couscous, because it's a good thing to have as a dinner. And then Dan got two things as well. Um, he got some Belgian milk chocolate sea salt. I tried them in the car. I will try them again. I don't taste sea salt at all, which is good because I don't like sea salt. Um, no. I don't know. Chocolate's not that good either. And then his other thing was these interesting candied kiwi slices. And I checked no gelatin or anything in them. But I just don't like them. To me, they taste kind of fishy. I forget. I'll have another one. Okay, this one doesn't. No, they do. I don't know what it is. Maybe that's just what, I don't know. Anyways, so I will be, he's actually leaving tonight to go back up to work for the week. So I will definitely tell him to take these along. Where's the chocolate? Not my favorite, but I'll eat it. Besides these, black. Yeah. Oh. So anyways, that's what we got. Um, just lots of little snacks, but $3 off, yay. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching and stay tuned. My next video will be Costco haul, yay. <laughs>